Hello guys, how's it going? My name is Darren. I'm on a Torrent Shaman, actually not even level 50, not level 48. I didn't want to complete the introductory trial quest thing, I just kind of wanted to test out some of the changes. And my main Shaman is actually somehow bugged. Every time I try to log on that Shaman, it says World Server Down. But that Shaman is also logged off in one of the capital cities where there's probably hordes of undead for the pre-patch event. So players griefing each other, trolling each other, turning each other into zombies. So there's a good chance that Shaman is kind of permanently stuck there. So I got on this guy, but I want to take a look at some of the new changes Shamans have gotten. Elemental Shamans gotten some fundamental changes and Enhancement gotten a couple new things, I believe. So in today's video, I kind of want to take a look at some of the new stuff and see if Shamans have improved. All right, so when it comes to your Shaman gameplay, I don't have all the talents available, but we do have one extra new talent, a couple moves around in the uh, the rows, as well as some basic changes to the Shaman talents. For Shamans, the biggest thing was really Fulmination and Seismic Thunder. Fulmination and Seismic Thunder were some of the buffs that Elemental Shamans had that was kind of the priority of the gameplay. Fulmination was a way where your Lightning Bolts and Lightning Bolt Overloads will give you Fulmination. Fulmination upon using Earthshock Earthshock will consume all the stacks of Fulmination to add extra damage to the Earthshock's damage. Then there was another buff called Seismic Thunder. You can get Seismic Thunder by going for Chain Lightning and hit more than one enemy. Every time you would hit more than one enemy, it would give you a stack of Seismic Thunder, and at 5, it would make your next Earthquake an instant cast and do more damage. So those were two mechanics for two separate abilities that didn't play with one another. At some point they did, but Blizzard separated them, so you would Chain Lightning to get Earthquakes, Lightning Bolt to get your Fulmination, and then you have Lava Burst that didn't play into any of it. So at first I thought this might be a really good combo, but in the end it felt kind of disjointed. In the end it was really hard for you to get Earth Shocks because, well, if you're playing a Lava Burst playstyle, uh, your Earth Shock is just an afterthought. And trying to land Seismic Thunder on, let's say, a Klee fight became kind of difficult too, and it just didn't synergize super well together. So Blizzard decided to make Fulmination kind of work for both Earthquake and Earth Shock. So right now, Lightning Bolt, Lava Burst, as well as Chain Lightning that hits more than one target, so two targets or more, and their overloads have a 100% chance to generate a stack of Fulmination, up to eight stacks. Earth Shock will discharge all stacks of Fulmination on the target, causing extra nature damage. Seems like a low number, but I'm pretty sure Blizzard's going to tune it. But 37 nature damage per stack on Fulmination. Earthquake cast is reduced by, well, it's not actually going to be 0%. I think it's going to be, uh, hard to remember. Are there any two train dummy? There is two train dummies next to one another, so we can actually see exactly how much that does. So it's going to be by 20% per stack. So we can get to, uh, at 5, it's already 100% to be insta. So you don't even need to stack Fulmination nearly as high when it comes to your Earthquake. I wonder if it will, at uh, uh, maximum stacks of Fulmination, like 8 stacks, will it consume all stacks of Fulmination to do maybe more damage? Oh yeah, so it does still increase more damage, but only at 5 stacks is what you needed to make it instant cast. So at higher stacks of Fulmination will make it stronger, if anything. So now both of those, uh, all three of those abilities now play off of one another. So if you are going for single target, you will be prioritizing Lava Burst. But now Lava Burst and their overloads contribute to Fulmination. So now the playstyle has a little bit of this like, um, I don't even know how to explain it. I guess it comes full circle in a way. So it seems a little more coherent and more more put, more put, well put together, I guess is the best way to put it. At least it synergizes a lot better than it did in the past because with how many Lava Bursts you can get, especially with like a high haze build with your you know, our flame shocks ticking all the time. It didn't feel like you overpressed lightning bolt, so you never really got to use up those charges. So maybe going for a talent of like elemental blast that also consumes all of your stacks of fulmination, made it where you actually are using your stacks of fulmination regularly and you're getting a buff from it. But with this, this is going to be a nice change where you can take this fulmination from single target and drop it down into earthquake, or take this uh, chain lightning uh, damage with Fulmination building up and drop it into an earth er, Earthquake, but also can be used into an Earth Shock if you need more of this like single target damage. Like let's say you're hitting a bunch of adds, then a boss gets into a point where he's taking a lot of damage, big Earth Shock onto the boss, and then continue damage single target onto the boss afterwards. 
so this should hopefully play a little bit better for the basics of elemental and while this doesn't seem like a big deal i think this is really one of those things that should finally complete the play style where now all the abilities have an interaction against one or, or with one another instead of having a couple different mechanics playing at the same time that are not really contributing to one another so hopefully this will make this uh play style a little bit better Another thing is Totem Mastery is pretty uh, pretty bad as a talent. It will spawn a Searing Totem, a Heal Totem, and a Root Totem, or Slow Totem, uh, Earthbind Totem. The Earthbind Totem and Healing Stream are nice, but on a talent roll that's supposed to increase your damage, it wasn't the strongest. Searing Totem wasn't going to do it because they brought back the original Searing Totem, but there's nothing that buffs it. Blizzard didn't scale it whatsoever. So they reward the talents for elemental as well as enhancement with a new ability for enhancement to test with. In the level 15 row, we have Earth and Rage in the same row as Echo of the Elements and now Static Discharge. Discharge excess energy from your Lightning Shield, dealing 25 nature damage to an enemy within 40 yards every 0.5 seconds for 3 seconds. Targets with the Flame Shock are preferred. So if you pop a Flame Shock on an enemy, your presence ability is just you cast it once and then from time to time lightning will just discharge from you as long as you have a lightning shield so be sure to have a lightning shield available it's a cool little talent but it doesn't really seem to have too much crazy synergy right now maybe in balancing blizzard will end up buffing this and i really hope they do because it could be quite good it could be for pvp or for pve let's say it's a mobility heavy fight just having static discharge happening while you're moving could be pretty good Putting this on cooldown every single time could be quite nice. It's just a little bit extra damage, but it just seems like Earthen Rage, except up for only 3 seconds every 30 seconds, where Earthen Rage is up all the time. So, I don't really know. Or maybe just Echo of the Elements. This just simply needs to be stronger if it has a cooldown to it. But I think it could be really cool, maybe if, let's say, it worked off of your Fulmination. So, let's say you did damage based on Light Shield, but also for each Fulmination stack. So as a shaman, you would build the fulmination, use this ability into an earth shock right afterwards, or you would use this as you are like at five or six fulmination, because then you would pop this, maybe you get a lightning bolt into an earth shock, or maybe like a lightning bolt, lightning bolt, lava burst, earth shock, and then by then you'll have full stacks, and you'll get a big earth shock, and then you're not spending globals um, sitting on fulmination, something along those lines, right? So maybe like have it so if you are at least at three charges of fulmination, this ability does more damage. So then it could kind of weave into your playstyle. Then we have a level 25. Aftershock has been changed. Uh, only gives Earthshock 25% chance to not consume any stacks of elimination. So it's not like you're going to be dropping a bunch of earthquakes everywhere. Then we have Echo and Shock, which is the same as Live. But Blizzard wanted to make sure it works off the next healing or damage spell ability. I think players were maybe able to get like two fire elementals or maybe do some crazy combo of like use an ability like Hex and then have the enemy get re -hex right afterwards or something. Then we have Elemental Blast on the same row as Aftershock and Echo and Shock. I guess Elemental Blast and Echo and Shock was a pretty strong combo, so now they're competitive to one another rather than synergetic. But this is still a decent ability. I like the extra stats it gives you. I like the fact it consumes Fulmination. If you take Elemental Blast, you basically can replace Earth Shock with it unless you need something so you can just cast something while moving. I guess a Shaman would be able to do that. Uh, worst to worst or I guess you could go for Actually, I guess you would go for frost shocks because they actually do more damage and they apply slow So it's interesting, but yeah with elemental blast um, You would actually just replace it with earth shock and never press earth shock again Because this would consume your fulmination to deal extra damage and then the rest of your talents I think are exactly the same and it's surprising that uh, we start these characters only at level 48 if it's a trial I guess you would do a couple of quests to gain a few levels before you hit level 50 But yeah so that's gonna gonna be how the playstyle will work for the shaman. Static discharge is all right. Uh, the main component for the playstyle though is going to be full fulmination, how it functions, and I like the fact that Blizzard have changed fulmination. Hopefully, it'll make more cohesive playstyle for shamans. One thing that elemental shamans did have in the beta though is damage in comparison to other classes was very very low. So hopefully, Blizzard is still gonna adjust the spec playstyle in terms of like how to play it. It should feel much better. Uh, but I hope the damage numbers will equate to the same good feeling playstyle very very soon But yeah, that's where the shamans are at at least for the elemental And then finally we have one small change for your enhancement shaman And I didn't realize how in the trial character you're actually missing your wind fear weapon Or wind fear totem ability, which is kind of like your big ability Interesting, pretty sure blizzard did that on purpose for trial characters to 
earn this one big ability that kind of makes the spec like Thunderstorm th is for Elemental Shaman. But with Enhancement Shamans, we also are losing Totem Mastery. So what replaces it? Instead, we're going to get Ice Strike, which is an interesting ability. It's a on global, doesn't cost anything. 13 second cooldown reduced by haste. As you can see, the 13 being in green. So the more haste we get, the better. We also did get a new talent here too, but we'll talk about it in just a moment as I'm setting up my abilities. Your Ice Strike is a brand new talent to replace your Totem Mastery, where Strike target with an Icy Blade, which doesn't really look like a blade to be honest, but say if I were to set up my character, is auto attacking. It's kind of what that looks like. So it's not really an icy blade. It's kind of like an icy. It's kind of like your wind fear weapon, just the effect of slashing. It doesn't actually look like a blade. Although I think a cool animation for this would be uh, pretty awesome to play with. Uh, strike the enemy for quite a bit of frost damage. When I did this on my main character, it actually did quite a bit of damage. It's competitive. The crit for Lava Lash wasn't competitive to the amount of non crit damage that Ice Strike had. So that wasn't a character with actual gear, so this damage numbers on this tune is going to be weird. But this ability does quite a bit of damage. It's actually quite good for the burst situation. It does almost as much as, a, or I think about as much as a Storm Strike. So it's very, very effective. It's a really strong ability, and I'm a huge fan of it. So that's going to be the same role as Hot Hand and Storm Fury. So I kind of like this uh, elemental play of like Ice, Fire, and Wind, I guess. Then you have Elemental Assault. Since... In this row, normally it'll be Storm Strike, uh, refreshes the cooldown of Flame Shock and Frost Shock. But instead, now Ice Strike does that, so we can Ice Strike into a Frost Shock, which will be super synergetic to play with Hailstorm if you wanted to play that for big frosty damage. There's even a legendary for enhancement, and as well as Elemental Shamans. When you use, I think, Fire damage, it buffs your Frost. If you use Frost damage, it buffs your Nature. If you use Nature, it buffs your Fire. So. Having some raw frost damage with this ability of Ice Strike, which is all frost damage, I think is going to be a really, really synergetic and play really well into the playstyle. Then, in, to replace it, since Ice Strike now does this refresh on your Flame Shock or Frost Shock, Elemental Assault takes its place in level 35 row. So, this is going to be like a single target, cleave, and AoE option. Fire Nova will make your Flame Shocks burst in fire damage to eight near, uh, in up to six targets for within eight yards. Hailstorm will allow your Frost Shock to do more damage, Pale Maelstrom Charge, spin into last ability, and do more damage and cleave every enemy per stack consumed. So, like, five enemies getting slapped with a big old Frost Shock. Then you have Elemental Assault, which makes Storm Strike damage increased by 15. And Storm Strike now generates one stack of Maelstrom weapon. So, Storm Strike is going to give you more consistency with Maelstrom uh, in terms of the uh, resource that it generates. So you'll be able to do more lightning bolts into more setups, but it'll be more of a steady focus. Just worry about Storm Strike and playstyle, which will synergize with Ascendance, I think, really well. It'll synergize pretty well with their own spike. I think it'll synergize together with Forceful Winds and maybe even Storm Fury playstyle. So it's a simple talent, and I feel like it's way too strong in this role for pure single target. So I'm hoping maybe Fire Nova might have some sort of a playstyle in single target, maybe with damage tunings it could be quite decent it's just an extra global to press but it looks like this is an aoe this is a cleave option this is a pure single target option for shamans um as we have it but yeah i think it's at least a new talent i think it's kind of good i think it's interesting if anything and with all the other changes that enhancement shamans have gotten this expansion so far i mean it's only better i, I like it i like it i like how i strike now is on a different row so now you can be synergetic with hellstorm so you don't need to have the refresh and hailstorm on the same row. So now it can be really cool. Um, it's an extra ability. does quite a bit of damage too. So that's going to be really nice as well. If you're trying to fill globals. So it offers you at least more play styles to play. And I think that's going to be really neat. I'm actually a huge, huge fan of the stuff that they've added. Even though Enhanced didn't get too much compared to Ellie. I'm a huge fan of some of the stuff they've added this update. But that's really going to be everything that I have for you guys here today for the Shaman. I like the changes to Elemental with mostly Fulmination and a couple talents here and there are adjusted. But I think the Fulmination is where most players will see improvement in terms of the basic playstyle and how all your abilities weave into one another. I think it's going to just create more synergetic playstyle. And for Enhancement, I do like some of the new talents that they've gotten. Uh, I really like the Icy Strike. What is it called? Icy Strike? I literally just... Yeah, Icy ice Strike. So that, that one is really cool. I like how it's going to synergize with the Frost Shock playstyle, which is personally my favorite. I like the huge slaps of Frost Shock across multiple enemies. Just kind of slap them in the face with Frost Shock with a big old tar in hand. I think it's going to be really cool. 
Thank you guys so much for checking out this video. I really do hope you guys enjoy it. Let me know what your thoughts are about some of the shaman changes we've gotten recently. And I'll see all of you guys in another video.